This weekend we're here in Bowling Green, Kentucky for the 10th anniversary of the biggest and craziest LSX party in the world. We're here for Holly Performance's LS Fest. My favorite part about this event is the weird, crazy, unique builds that we find here. We're going to go around the pits and see if we can top last year's video and see what we can find. Well, you're at LS Fest, so I'm going to have to guess this has an LS in it. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a perfect fit. Those. Dang. We got DC on it. <laughs> is it all pretty much stock, or have you done much to it? This is the second motor I've had in it. The first one was really short-lived, but it's completely stock. It's just a 2004 Express fan, six liter. Nice. 290,000 on it. Did you have a little too much fun with the first one? No, it just snapped a rod early on. Oh, dang. It just never ran quite right. So, so was, uh, what made you end up putting an LS in here? Um, I actually didn't do it for the vehicle. I built uh, data bus conversion modules. Oh. So this is Chrysler vehicle that is talking to the GM computer. Interesting. So I've got all the dash and the interior and everything's all working off the GM computer for it. Gotcha. And I wanted to build a Wrangler. Um, I didn't want to spend Wrangler money for it. Yeah. So these are cheap and all over. Oh yeah. Wasn't sure how well it was going to fit, but I was like, even if I don't get to drive it very far, <laughs> I just need it for the electronics in it. You just wanted to play with it? Yeah. Um, wanted to build the module for it. Um, it's here because everything's working at this point. Still got a few things I got to fine tune a little bit. Um, the whole instrument cluster works, AC's working the way it's supposed to. Um, even the keyless entry on it works with the factory alarm. Beautiful.